Welcome to Rehash. All the internet will all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hello, my name's Steve, and this is Rehash. Thank you so much to Steve Tree Puncher who provided our intro. If you'd like to do the same, just go ahead, click the link down in the description, and provide a little clip where you say, Hello, my name is so and so, and welcome to Rehash, and we'll talk about your channel at the end of any of our episodes. So, uh, we have a couple of newsy type whatevers yep. that we want to discuss with you, the Freedom Family, and the Rehash Mites and then the yes. whatnots, yeah. yeah. Um, my first topic that I want to discuss is how Macy's told Donald Trump, you fired. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I'll be talking to the Freedom Family about the Redneck Rocket Launcher. Redneck Rocket Launcher. Yep. Which is why I was doing the weird accent in the beginning there, and, uh, yeah. I'm not sure why we did British, but it was just weird. We did anyway, because it was fun. Yeah. All right, and uh, I believe I had another topic around here somewhere. It's up there. It's up. So apparently, Stephen Colbert took over a public access show called Only in Monroe, uh, which was in Monroe, Michigan, and had Eminem as a guest. And that was kind of interesting. So we're going to talk about all that stuff. All right. Awkward transition. First things first. I'm the realist. I wanted to talk to you about Donald Trump getting fired by Macy's. Um, apparently Donald Trump had said some um, disparaging yeah, remarks that's, that's the best thing in the world um, about um, Hispanic Americans or immigrants coming over claiming that um, and I may be paraphrasing that they were rapists and thieves, thieves. Yep. Is it thieves? Yep. paraphrasing we could be wrong throwing that out there we're not really known for hard-hitting journalism here we're just two guys sitting on a couch talking about stuff so, uh, Macy's uh, has released something saying that they, you know, don't follow that and how that's against their, their values and that they don't believe that, you know, those remarks um, really go with their brand. Um, however, Donald Trump is saying that he's actually the one who ended the relationship because he never thought that, uh, he never felt comfortable with the fact that the goods were made in China. So there seems to be a little bit of tit for tat there. Um, and then you wanted to talk about rednecks doing the stuff with the yeah, fire! Doing crazy stuff. So the 4th of July is approaching. And is it really? What, what is today? Today's the second? The, th yeah, the, uh, the, the third? I don't, I can't math. Yeah. So they get to celebrate, you know, Independence Day. They get to, you know, shoot off some fireworks. Is that what July the 4th is for Americans? Is it? I don't know. Tell me. You really don't know what it is. I never saw them reading holidays growing up. <laughs> so regardless, Freedom Family, they, they some rednecks, or, or some good old country folk, if you will, they decided that they're going to make a redneck rocket launcher. That's a pretty good country accent, I hope. So nonetheless, they took a fence, they, they like took the lining of the fence, they took fuses, and they set off 8,500 model rockets. 8,500? Yeah, to be specific. Wow! Yeah. You know, this is exactly why bigger fireworks were banned. Can you imagine that with cherry bombs? <laughs> They'd be like a, a nuke or something. Like, like a huge, well, like a huge crater. You ever, you ever watch in Minecraft when you set off a group of TNT? They kind <laughs> that's of what go it would flying. Be like. and that's then, what it would be like. Yeah, that would be insane. An entire city block cherry bombed to death. And then I wanted to talk to you, the Reishimineonian people. I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about um, Stephen Colbert, who came on to a Michigan just almost seemingly randomly um, came onto a Michigan t um, like almost talk show like between two ferns type deal yeah when, when you first showed me I was like is this between two ferns uh, it, surprisingly it's not yeah. um, and he actually invited Eminem on as a guest and um, it, it's it's awesome because we have you know first off you know Stephen Colbert is going on to the late show and um, you know, we were kind of expecting him to be a very, like, you know, a little bit more serious, yeah. you know, than what he's been doing. But it looks like he's not really changing up his shtick too much. It's awesome to have, you know, like, for instance, Eminem reading, like, the municipal calendar, like, at the end of the episode. He's like, so this is what's going on in, in Monroe, um, Michigan. And, um, you know, they also took a fingernail painting break. What? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Dude, I, I want to watch that. I haven't seen um, it. So if you haven't seen it yet, there is a link in the description where yeah. you can uh, read your stuff with the eyeballs and the text and whatnot. I do have a quick little note for those of you oh. who this affects. Marijuana is also now legal in Oregon. Oregon. Is it Oregon or Oregon? I always call it Oregon. Glaucoma. We got a little bit off track. A bit. A little bit. And now I got the munchies, so really? let's do the comments! Arr, comments, let's go! Before we go much further in the comments, I want to make a point 
to address the fact that we are ignoring quite a few comments. And one of the reasons why we're ignoring these is because there was a little bit of a, call it a snafu, um, that happened yesterday. Um, where we were unable to upload to this channel because I lost access due to some stuffages. Um, and any comment dealing with that um, is, is being ignored and like, why is this, that, and the other? Because it wasn't really intended uh, to happen that way. And for a while we thought that it was going to be a permanent thing <laughs> or right. semi-permanent. And we wanted to get a daily episode out and blah, 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 blah. Um, I just needed to point out that we're not ignoring those specifically you know, on camera. We will, you know, we do plan on addressing that as soon as we really know what, exactly what to say and how to say it without making it sound all weird. Yeah. Like I just well, did. I understand. No. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, to the comments! Let's go! So comment number one comes from Kaiser Hertzen. Is that how you say his name? I believe so. All right. He says, everything tastes better with blue bonnet on it. Dot, dot, dot. Hashtag random comment. Okay. I like the hashtag random comment. I like that, yeah. All right, mine's a little bit less random. Uh, and today we are going to talk about United Gaming IDK says, Can you please give him a punch for me? We don't yet know who him is. I hope it isn't me. But we're going to punch each other softly and gently. Um, Mega Badger says, have you ever heard of Battle Pods? It's a VR multiplayer mech fighter where you just battle uh, the opposing team's mechs to the death and others can view it from a TV screen. It's kind of like an arcade style game somewhere in the Texas space. I've never heard of it, but it sounds honestly really cool. It does kind of sound if cool. If I had a VR headset, I would try playing it. All right, well, that's the comments for now. Do keep in mind we do pick silly as well as serious questions. As long as it doesn't have to do with why we uploaded a video to another channel. For now. For now. But we'll, we'll, we'll tackle that one. Anyways, uh, just see, now, we to, now we get to talk about the partner. So today we get to spotlight a partner, and I'm really excited for this one. Hey. Because Steve Tree Puncher is currently sitting at 15,000 15. subscribers. And um, he is doing, like, all kinds of interesting things on his channel. Like, he's got multiple things that he plays off of each other. For instance, he's doing parkour stuff, he's doing gaming stuff, he's doing, um, like, vloggity things. Yeah, but only that, he has 15,000 subscribers, he has a very engaging audience, but the main thing that I wanted to point out about the guy is he's doing all sorts of stuff and he does it the right way. He's very consistent, he has good thumbnails, he uploads daily with consistent videos. I mean, this is the prime example of a YouTuber and uprising. A, another thing that I really liked about some of his videos, and especially looking at his most popular videos, something that he's doing right, is he had a video go, I wouldn't say viral, but he had a video that's doing extremely well, um, and the titling of it is just about perfect. Right. Instead of being like, you know, this mean wench, you know, <laughs> like, kicked us out of blah blah blah, um, the titling of it was, you know, um, you know, mom calls cops on you know, guys on doing parkour. Yeah. Guys doing parkour, yeah. So, the thing about those titles is that they're so relatable. They're not, they don't, uh, as far as the textual concept of it, it doesn't require that you know him. It doesn't require that you understand much besides what's going on. It's uh, like when you type in funny videos, funny videos pop up. Like, he, he just has the right wording in the titles. And he does it with all of his videos. And so that is something to keep in mind. Um, and I honestly don't think that it's clickbaity. A lot of times that's a really big issue is, you know, some things are seen as clickbait. However, you know, he delivers on his promise of, you know, that's exactly what's going on. Um, so good job, good titling. Um, keep growing. And uh, everybody, I want you to go spam them in the comments saying hashtag rehash. So yeah. Uh... It's time to do the outro. I think it is about time to do the outro. That I can't do. Why can't you? I don't remember it. M I C K E Y. I don't know. M O U A. Okay. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, guys. Bye, friend and family.